Hi Android fans, it's me the cool loser and this is my Galaxy Nexus and I am rooted on a custom ROM called Codename Android. First things first, the lock screen. Those of you guys who are familiar with Ice Cream Sandwich, you'll know how Ice Cream Sandwich is with the Galaxy Nexus. As we can see here, blew up the size of the clock. And I actually have four different options here instead of two where you just got the camera and the unlock. So this ROM gives me these little extra features. I could actually have more or move this up higher. I got a custom carrier label that says the coup loser of my name. Now let's unlock. Now I'm in my home screen. Before I get more into here, let me just go into the notification bar. And as I drag it down, you will see that I got toggle buttons up here. That is not a stock feature. This comes with the ROM. You'll have to add that in. If you notice up here, it's green, not blue. It's because I changed the color. Same with my buttons down here. It has four buttons instead of the three. Back button, home, search, and my recent applications. This is all possible for your Galaxy Nexus with other ROMs, but this is one of the best ones I've found too. Like the code name Android is as stock as it could be with extra little features that you could obviously tweak that I've showed. And as far as the applications go, there's not much of a big difference in them because you're gonna have to download the Google apps. The ROMs don't come with the Google apps pre-installed, which sometimes they call gaps. I'll be getting that link to show you how to root your phone. I did it in like eight minutes with the, this method. But the only difference that I really see camera app is that it has pretty cool feature here. Turn the camera around. Okay. Lots of us have to like touch the screen, you know, to take pictures. You can't press the button right and we're like getting lost. You can hold the power button, you can see that? That's autofocus. And then it takes a picture. So I can take pictures just by holding the power button and it takes it. So that's what's really cool. I mean, it works just with the camera app and that's one like cool little nifty feature that I liked that was on this ROM. As I pull down the notification, we have settings up here for Ice Cream Sandwich that goes right to our system settings. But here's the next feature that is the biggest difference from a stock ROM. We got interface. And interface is what we would do to change different things of the look and feel of our phone. So power menu. Power menu. What kind of power options would you like? I have these ones selected and some of them off. Click off. And you see power, reboot, torch light navigation bar, and other toggle settings down here. Those are all because the way I have it set here. If I want to do show airplane mode, now there's airplane mode right there. Now another cool feature, those of you guys who want to remove this little thing right here, because you know if we get into the applications, it's not full screen until certain apps that might be able to hide it. But this is really cool. What I liked about it is um, hide the notification bar. Let's click on that. And you see that it's hidden and now I'm home fully full screen. But how do I go back now? The sucky part is you have to hold down and you can use these buttons up here to go back. And there you go. Now you can bring it back anytime and just click and like that. So you got your buttons back. Now next, status bar setting, notification widget. This is where you would come and to show power widget. So up here, we see these little power widgets. Uncheck that. No more power widgets. This is what you see normally on your Galaxy Nexus. Favorite features that I like because I can turn off and on features from here. Love it. Indicator color so you can customize a little bit more on it. But what I like about these toggle buttons, if I want to like go into my Wi-Fi settings, just hold on it and it'll go into the Wi-Fi settings. And let's go into my GPS and it jumps right into my GPS stuff. Let's go back. Now look at my battery bar up here. Click on that. And then you see battery icon style, text only, like if I don't want an icon, and it just says 63%. Or I want icon with centered text, circle mod. And now I got circle mod right there, battery bar options. Now say you don't want even a, a notification there, there's an option here to set a battery bar where you can just have a little bar battery and it starts dying. Like imagine this line right here being your battery bar. And as soon as it starts dying, it'll be small. Obviously, it'll be like black there and it'll get different colors as it dies. Let's get back. Clock widget. Now, let's say you don't like the traditional clock on the very right side. You can do a centered clock. So now the clock is in the middle. Do you want the PM, AM? No, yes. There's no. Keep it on small. And then change the clock color. Let's change it to red. And there is the red color for the clock now. Here's the lock screen. What you saw, number of targets. This area will let you know how many do you want because you guys know if I turn my screen off, I got these four options right here. 
Now, if I wanted to get more options, there's six and even eight custom targets. Let's customize saying, what do you want it to be? This is where you would set it up. Custom SMS app and sound toggle for the camera. Lock screen layout. If you go here, you will see that I got it on the big clock on stock layout. Lock screen options. You can choose if you don't want to press your power button right here to wake up your device. You can actually have your up button or your down button to wake it up. Enable fast torch. How long does it take you to fumble through to turn on your LED? Well, if you hold your power button, LED you and let go and it turns off. So that's a really cool feature. It's lock screen battery percentage. Go there and you can see it's 62%. If you want to have a complete new live wallpaper that is not on your home screen, you can have a lock screen wallpaper and then when you open it, it'll have a different live wallpaper for your home screen. So those are the lock screen settings. On screen controls, if you click on right here, you will see menu visibility, how and when the menu buttons appear and you can choose default behavior, always enabled or always invisible. So if you see always enabled, you'll see this little menu button right here that will always be there or just keep it only when applications need to run it. Menu location, if you want to have it on either side, you can have on both sides. Nav bar configuration, you see here back home search and recent applications, we don't have this on a normal stock Galaxy Nexus, but with this ROM it allows you to add it. So this is what you see, you see this. Switch search for recents or I can just, or add it. On screen controls order, if you want to say, I don't want my back button to be there, I want it to be in the very last part, so there is my back button now. So that's the benefit of having on-screen controls where you can even tilt your device and your things change and you can have it any way using it. It'll adjust to your position. On-screen controls color, and this is the color right there, and let's change it to blue this time. And there you go, now we got blue. That simple. Rotation and animation, this is where you want to do so you completely rotate or screen off animation where you get this effect like that. Pulse notification, those are for text messages when you want it to LED, this little LED that we have right here. If you want it to show you when your battery's dying, you can check this on. I don't have it on because having an extra light telling me that my battery is dying is draining my battery quicker. And then we got quiet hours where we can set different kind of ringtones and sounds and different things to turn off during certain hours. And then we got general settings, custom carrier label. You see the Koo Loser. That is this little thing that you see there, the Koo Loser. So you can set your own message there, what you wanted to say. If you don't like moving things this way, you could click on this and it's going to do this little reset type of thing. So now let's open it up and now you see I navigate through this way. Make them go away. It's like Webo style. Okay, moving back into the performance. In the performance, this is an excellent way to speed up your phone as in overclock it. You could speed up the boot time where it'll load quicker when you turn it off or you know restart it and clear cache or speed up the SD card. You can tweak it in here. Start up tweaks, we click in there. Enable SD boost and fix permissions. So every time I restart my phone, if something's wrong with it, it'll fix my permissions. I don't have to run it through ROM manager. Every time I turn off my phone, obviously it'll clear all the cache that all the applications have. So you don't always have to have those cache cleaners. Processor speed, if you click on the processor speed, you will see that the current speed fluctuating because it depends on what I do. It's on demand, as you see on demand. I can change that if I want to have perfect performance, but I'm sure it'll drain my battery a lot more. Keep it on there because it always keep it on the top notch, the fastest. So whenever you do something, it'll keep loading quick, quick, quick. If you want to just do interactive, a hot plug, a conservative to save lots of batteries, a power save, you can see there. But I keep it on demand because it'll go to the slowest. And when I need the power, it'll boost all the way up to where it needs it. And it is overclocked. So you see minimum CPU frequency, keep it on 350 and you can set it to what the minimum is going to be and the maximum 1.3 gigahertz. So you must check this so every time you restart it keeps its mark. Processor voltage, I do not mess with that. I don't really want to change the CPU voltage. Memory management, I have another part where I don't move anything, I keep it how it is. Skip the boot animation for the fastest boot. Now I don't know the timing of all the other phones when they turn off or on, but when I was running stock ice cream sandwich on here, when I restarted my phone it would take up to a minute. I'm guessing as I'm going to give you a little quick reboot here and let's do a reboot 
So rebooting means, you know, it's just restarting the phone. A lot of people think rebooting means like some kind of like factory reset. No. So it's off. And just imagine I just turn on the power right now. Just to show you that I'm not speeding the the video. That this is the speed it's going to have. So probably now like 8, 10 seconds already. And some of you guys' phones I know out there are pretty quick. And... And there you go. I'm now back on my phone. So that's how long it takes. I skipped the boot animation and I can go into it and do my thing. So that's where you would do it to disable that. Proceed with caution. Let's go back now. This is where your launcher stuff is going to be. You can change your home screen. In the stock ice cream sandwich, you can't change or add more screens to it. If you don't want to have extra applications and just keep what this comes with, these applications work good with the ROM to save battery and with the performance, you could add up to seven. Enable persistent search bar, which means if I go out here, I don't have a search bar up there anymore. A lot of you guys have it and I took it off by selecting this off, but if I turn it back on, let's go into the home screen and you will see the persistent search bar. So it's always going to be there and I can just press search. I turn it off because I've had it forever and I really didn't use it. So I just want the whole full screen now and the apps can go further in widgets. Transition effect as uh, scrolling through the screen, you can see I got the tablet effect where I'm scrolling through it. Scroll wallpaper so the wallpaper can move. Show desktop divider, which is this little divider right here. You can turn that off if you would like. Let's check that and let's go home. And you see no more line. So those are all the settings right there for the home screen. You go to the drawer, transition effect, change the effects there. You will see that you got standard tablet, zoom in, rotate, rotate down, cube in and stack, the card stack. That's what normal Android has. But then we go into general, auto rotate screen so that you have the ability to rotate your screen just like that. A lot of us can't do that. And you can see the indicator down there, pretty cool. And I wanna show you just the other piece right here where I hide the navigation bar, watch. And you got the full screen. I like that. I do kinda of miss the off screen buttons right here cause I'd be able to click real quick and I got the full screen. But you know, you can hide that whenever you want if you wanna do it this way. So yeah, this is basically the most stock custom ROM there is with this little section that lets you tweak little things, the performance, and the user experience on this ROM. I see it working really fast. I mean, it's not the best, it's a dual core phone, so it's not like all those quad cores. It's not the fastest phone, I'm not saying that. I don't get forced closes. It just does everything I want it to do, so I don't have to be worried and be like, oh my God, it's not gonna work. I don't get no problems. The battery power for this is excellent. I get better battery percentage on this phone than any of my other phones. My Nexus 1 and my Nexus S, this being rooted and the way I use it saves me even more battery than my other devices. And this is even a bigger screen and it's faster. Let's go into battery and we go into battery, we say 56% and I've been on four hours and 22 minutes, which you see 71% usage and click onto that and we'll see how long it's been. So two hours and 10 minutes I've been on and screen time so it's showing you completely screen time of how long it's been this will always be your number one battery waster i've been up to six hours of usage on this before my phone completely died i think i saved some pictures and the best i got on like light use one day one hour so that's 25 hours guys that i got a battery usage on this phone for sure i get more than eight hours of use on this when i using it really heavy keep all my settings at how it is right now and i keep it on Right now I have it low because for my camera to pick up the quality better, but I keep it on automatic so my screen will dim up and down on its own. So yeah guys, this is the ROM codenamed Android and I have to say that I've loved it. Everything is stock, feeling, looking, just with these little extra tweaks. A little disclaimer before you guys go on flashing different ROMs, changing different things, rooting attempts. If you guys fail to, you know, get it working, please don't blame me. I'm just showing you the capabilities of Android. So flash at your own risk. And I hope you guys enjoy my videos. If you're new to this video, go check out my channel. I have lots of applications and games of the top 10 games and apps. Then I do two videos every week on Mondays and Thursdays. Go check it out, subscribe. We'll spread the word of the cool loser. And those of you guys who are big followers, I'm about to reach my 20,000 subscribers. Those of you guys are still here. I love you guys all. And I shall see you guys next time. Later.